Hi, my name is David. I'm the CEO of ASMX. And as promised, today I want to do, show you uh, part of the system. The idea of some of these series of videos is to talk you through what ASMX can do and the various different bits of the system that will be coming and launching very soon. But rather than just do screenshots, what I wanted to be able to do is relate our system to what is going on in the marketplace and how we fit in. So, for, so at the moment, I've been to a lot of conferences recently and the, the buzzword is tokenization. Um, and it's been taken over by, uh, and, and I suppose uh, 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 more precise wording is talking about real world assets. Things like uh, securities, equities, bonds, uh, funds, uh, the digitization and tokenization of financial, financial instruments. Things like art and the fractionalization and tokenization of art. Uh, property portfolios, real estate throughout the world. Those kind of things that traditionally have been illiquid. Not necessarily securities, but the things like um, you know, art and, and, uh, and, and property. And there are various different things that tokenization and digitization solves. But rather than me prattling on about it, there was a very good video from MSNBC. So I'd like to show you that now so that uh, you can get a concise view of exactly what tokenization is all about. Tokenization is a process where some form of assets are converted into a token that can be moved, stored, or recorded on a blockchain. The process of tokenization simply means to digitally represent an asset in the form of a token, to put real-world assets like a land or a house on the blockchain. The first step is to tokenize them. Tokenization of assets would increase an asset's liquidity as it facilitates fractional ownership. This token will contain all relevant information about the asset. Tokens are backed by an underlying physical asset, complete with warranties, insurance and legal enforceability to create trust in trade. It allows everyone to track resources, prevent wastage, create tamper-proof record of transactions. So if you want to buy gold or a painting but can't pay in full, you can buy token equal to as small as 0.0002% of the ownership of that asset. Tokenization can change the way world works. Tokens can be used as trademarks, copyrights and patented technologies. It simplifies exchange due to seamless exchange process on blockchain as each transaction that involves a token has a sender, receiver, signatures, TAM, stamp and amount. The transaction receipt is immutable, verifiable and available for all to see. It has global access as it's the same blockchain in US, Argentina or China. It ensures liquidity by the way of global audience and large participation and you can create conditional scenarios as well. For example, inactive wallet for X number of years may lead to token transfers to another person. Also, an X amount of token transfer may lead to an ownership exchange as well. Also reduces cost of eliminates, middlemen, and there is no management cost. These are the examples of all that has been tokenized so far. It's gold, real estate, bonds, equity, painting, you name it, and the world is tokenizing it. So from that video, you can see the most important points of the transformative power and wide-ranging applications of tokenization in the financial world. Tokenization is the process of converting assets into digital tokens on a blockchain and enabling them to be easily traded, stored and managed. The video highlights how this process increases liquidity, facilitates fractional ownership and provides a secure and transparent way to manage assets. From real estate and gold to paintings and bonds, tokenization is applicable to various asset classes allowing for a broader participation and access to investment opportunities. The key benefits that they discussed include the creation of tamper-proof transaction records, global accessibility, reduced cost and the elimination of intermediaries. The video also touches on the potential for creating conditional scenarios and automating certain processes, further enhancing efficiency and security in asset management and trade. In essence, tokenization is positioned as a revolutionary shift in how we manage and trade assets with the potential to democratize access, enhance transparency and streamline processes across industries. And that's at the very core of what ASMX is doing. But how big is the marketplace? I mean, is it a reality? Are there people out there that are talking about tokenization in the large companies? 
uh, is this something that will be adopted on a larger basis? Well, you, if you hear it from me, I'm bound to say something along those lines because that's the business I'm in. But I'd like to introduce this video segment here where Larry Fink, who is the chairman of uh, BlackRock, which has got trillions under management, talks about what he believes is the future of the financial industry. Transformed as we talk right now, I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. In this insightful segment, Larry Fink, the esteemed CEO of BlackRock, shares his visionary perspective on the future of financing emphasizing that the transformative potential of blockchain technology and the tokenization of securities. BlackRock, being a global leader in asset management with trillions of dollars under management, plays a pivotal role in shaping investment trends and practices worldwide. Thus, Fink's views are not just observations, but potential indicators of shifts in the financial landscape. He delves into the practical benefits of this transformation, spotlighting the efficiency, transparency, and immediacy that blockchain and tokenization can bring to securities trading. With instantaneous settlement and a clear immutable record of every transaction, Fink envisions a financial ecosystem that is more secure, more efficient, and more accessible. Fink draws a parallel between the revolutionary impacts of exchange traded funds, or ETFs, and the emerging trend of tokenization in securities. He highlights how ETFs have been fundamentally changed the investment practices that are there, and he anticipates an, a similar transformative effect from the tokenization of securities. According to Fink, this is not just a distant future innovation, but a next generation financial evolution that is unfolding right now. So let me show you how ASMX is solving this. With a brief overview of ASMX's trading platform, that does just what Fink is discussing. Okay, what I wanted to do is show you a quick trade so that you can see how we are trading the tokenized equity of uh, companies, test companies in this scenario, but they are connected to the exchange. So this is essentially a, a real world test through, um, uh, through various different systems. So I am going to purchase the, this one and uh, in fact, I'll do this one because it's got a, it's got on the bid and offer there. So you'll see these are a typical level two bid and offer. You can see the depth that's in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy uh, buy that one. So I'm going to buy it good till cancelled at 35, and I'm going to buy 100. You'll see that there are the charges laid out here, the capital cost, any stamp duty that's on the particular trade, and I just want to show you the the execution time. So I press that, you'll see that this is now uh, executed. That has been uh, legally settled and uh, transferred to the owner. Uh, it's all done on an atomic basis and uh, settled on our blockchain ledger uh, in less than two tenths of a second. That, that happens in real time. That has gone to the exchange. So it's been inputted here. It's gone to the exchange. It has been settled. The exchange has now updated our ledger and that the, uh, the ledger is all done. So I can show you the, um, uh, the order that was there. So you'll see that on instrument 162. It shows you the order that went. I can show you the, um, uh, the wallet, so 162, and you will see the updated address. So you'll see the address that that went to and the hash that's associated with that. We are, we are having more um, uh, views, uh, you know, making it more of a blockchain viewer so you can see the various different uh, addresses it's gone backwards and forwards from. And then this is the activity of the trade. So that's just a very, very quick overview of the trading system to show you how quickly it settles and uh, how we have, in fact, uh, managed to tokenize equities onto to securities, bonds, anything we can trade here. You'll see we can trade whatever. We've got a bunch of uh, NFTs, test NFTs, security tokens, debt tokens, equities, etc. Um, anything that can be listed and can be uh, securely um, tokenized, we can do it and we can trade it. 
So as you've seen from what we're what we've just shown you on the trading side of it, we have uh, a trading system that can trade tokenized anything, tokenized whatever you want. What we've done is we've wrapped everything up into the existing legacy regulatory system. Like all stock exchanges have all got their own particular rules, but they all have a standardization of regulations, and that is through securities. So if you're issuing securities, you want to issue them onto a blockchain. You're not looking over your shoulder wondering whether somebody's going to have a chat with you about uh, issuing unregulated securities because we just issue them as securities and trade them over a stock exchange. But it's important to look back at what Larry Fink was saying, because we think one of the most important things is transparency. He said uh, in the very lang Larry Fink way, uh, you know, if we can all have our own code, we know who's buying what, where, when and how. What he was basically saying was we can see the addresses of those people who are buying and selling. So let me give you one practical example on our platform. Issuers will be encouraged to have the top 20 holders addresses on the system shown. And what that would mean is that you can see in real time who is buying and selling in the top 20 holders, because we think that's a transparency issue. There are many exchanges and things that have gone on in the past with exchanges where a CEO might buy or sell some shares and not report it to the market for a couple of weeks. Now, obviously, the, you can't do that too many times without getting into trouble, but it does happen. Whereas here, you have something that is absolutely transparent and real time. And that allows things like uh, copy trading, where you could set a system up that allowed you to trade. So if the CEO or the largest holder of shares is buying, you could buy on top of that. Or if he's selling, you could sell into that. Um, and so, so it allows us to have a very good transparent system. Also, in, in the world that we're moving into, you know, we've seen, in fact, the last few days, we've seen the company's house in the UK have been, uh, have brought in a new law that allows uh, the company's house to identify who the directors of companies are, believe it or not. That wasn't a, a scenario before, hence we have Daffy Duck and Minnie Mouse as directors on Company House. Um, it, 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 there is this strive, this, this drive towards knowing who the ultimate beneficial holders are, which is where crypto has a, a slight issue. And if they're coming into the regulated market space, that's something they're going to have to deal with because a lot of crypto is, and DeFi is built around the anonymous nature and the peer-to-peer -peer, um, the, 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 the peer -peer trading of, of, of crypto. Uh, and of course, it's traded over exchanges. But, but ultimately, the, the way the world is going is that people uh, want to know who the ultimate beneficial holder of an asset is. And you'll find that it'll be a very difficult thing to, um, to, to, to do. Imagine you're in a scenario where you've, you've tokenized a hundred million pound portfolio of buildings and you don't actually know who some of the owners are or some of the owners uh, are reasonably unsavory characters and haven't been vetted at any point. Those are the complications of regulation and legalities that are going to affect the tokenization and digitization of real world assets. Our solution for it, and we're not saying it's the perfect solution, but it is a solution that we're running with, is to take the legacy regulatory system that has been around for decades and has regulations that cover everything from how you market it, to market manipulation, to reporting, all the procedures and policies that are within securities, the securities framework can still be applied to, uh, to the efficiency that blockchain and, uh, and digitization and tokenization brings. So that's where we're coming from and that is the system that we've built. Over the uh, coming weeks, we'll give you a few more segments of our uh, platform and we'll tell you why we're doing uh, while we're doing it in that particular way as we have today with the trading platform and how quickly it can uh, trade and how quickly it can update the ledger and how we can tokenize and trade anything that's out there. So I look forward to bringing those videos to you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we'll have some coming out and you'll get some notification and like it because that helps us with YouTube. But thanks very much and I'll speak to you very soon.